well, good afternoon. It's been a while since we've done this. Um, we're back again. And, uh, yeah, it's more flight simulator stuff, you know, the bread and butter. We've got a new plane and everything. And we're going to be doing some Fireflyer monthly hub achievements. New monthly hub has just released. We've, it's based in Lake Tahoe and Kern Valley. So today we're going to be doing GA flights from there and I'll be on with my, my good buddy and captain himself MDA009 who's on introducing his stream at the minute and then we'll be able to bring him in and we'll get going again. So hopefully there's no audio issues or anything like that. To say the new plane we've got here is the Paper M500, you can see it there in the uh, in the background. I'll give you zoom in and around and uh, walk through this plane. Uh, I did a quick startup beforehand just to make sure everything was okay and I can assure you that everything was not okay as I did that but I think we figured it out now. Um, got a multitude of errors but I'm just starting to think that half of this is, is me being a shit pilot. So we'll see where we get to but we're, today we're going to be going from Kern Valley to uh, I believe it is Mariposa in California. Uh, it's a short GA flight and we may do a couple of other TA flights in between now and we'll see where we'll sort of get to on that but hope everybody's well we've, uh, we've got plans to do other streaming for uh, other games as well but today will be sort of an, it'll be all flight simulator based and we'll probably be on with another stream later doing flight simulator as well and then I believe tomorrow uh, may well be doing some Metal Gear Solid streaming as well, so look out for that, and that will be done via the PlayStation, so there won't be any big long introductions or anything like that, like the way we do with Flight Simulator. Um, but just to be something to just keep in mind as well with that. But let's have a look at this we playing. So this is the Paper M500 here. It already came with the Firefly Air livery for it, which is just outstanding. Look at it; it's beautiful. Um, so we'll take you inside the plane here and have a wee. Have we look around you can see it uses all the the garmin software now i've already got the ground power connected here to this um, so we're not starting completely from dark uh, you look at the overheads it's uh it does have uh tbm vibes to it as well especially in the you know, in the aircraft the way it's it's kind of laid out but um yeah i'm very interested to try this get this baby into the air and see see how it goes um so tested my uh, my dodgy Airbus controller um, and it's it seems to be working now I think we've hopefully got the problem the problem fixed with that but yes so today's plan um, will be starting out at Kern Valley then we'll be going to Mariposa and then it should be a flyback from Mariposa back to Kern Valley again and then we'll look and see what other legs we can we can do and go from there um, we'll try and get maybe a couple of hours streaming done here which should encompass maybe about five to six flights maybe maybe a bit more depending on time but uh yeah hopefully all's good to go here so i'm just gonna take a wee look and see if mda is ready to be introduced hello so mda are you good to go well, good to, good to get started. I wouldn't say good to go. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I, was, I was just in a quick intro on the, on the M500. One of, one of the things I'm going to pre-caveat all this with is this is the first time that we've flown these, or this plane. Mm -hmm. Things will not be correct. Tests will be skipped. <laughs> things will break. <laughs> you know, the, the, the laws of flight things have dynamics. already broken. Actually, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> the laws of flight dynamics will be blatantly ignored, and um, you know, not challenged, just ignored. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so don't pay out on us for you know, not follow. I haven't even read the manual yet, <laughs> so yeah. uh, we'll see how we go. But I mean, who does? You know, like you buy a new game, who reads the manual? You know, long gone are those days of you know sitting on the bus. I, I still, home, I, you know. I, I, I still do. I mean, I don't not before you play. Like I still do. You know, yeah. afterward. I, I used to do that. I remember when I used to go down to game 
and get yes. you know, whatever the new game was, and then it would take the bus yeah. back, and I would read the manual. Yeah. Sit, sit and read the know. box, and but yep, they study just, the map. They, exactly. They, these just aren't yeah. things now, you know. Manuals don't know. exist really anymore. They're they're like a wee sort of leaflet now that you get with it. Um, yeah, that's they, right. Well, used to have that, you know, essentially read the entire cover to cover manual on the way back for preparation for starting uh, whatever game it was. So. I, I, I did the same, and then um, I did, uh, for what I call it, I did the same as well. Um, what do you call that? Uh, the map, you know, GTA and all, I used to read, look at the map and all. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, just realized, what's, what's going on with my, my box here? Let's see what's going on there. <coughs> right, so, uh, I was just explaining today, then we're in uh, Kern Valley. Uh, we're yes. going to be operating on Firefly Air's achievements, showing off this beautiful Firefly Air livery that came uh, installed with the craft as it was purchased as well. Yes. It's fantastic. Um, but we're going to be going to Mariposa. You know what? See, just before. See, before we go, before we do anything, I need to grab a screenshot of these two planes just sitting here because it looks amazing. Uh, hang on a second. Just grab a quick one there like that and then I'll get to a better one. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Right. Um, yeah, sorry, you were saying? Uh, no, just to sort of explain another route here. Um, we're going to be operating off GA flights here from Karen Valley. Uh, today, so our first one so to we're heading towards Mariposa and then imagine we're heading back again. Does that be correct? That's how these GA flights are working, is it? To and that, throw, is, is it? That, that is correct. And up and down. Then we'll go from there. So I'm actually going to grab a screenshot as well here using NVIDIA's G Force Experience, which I actually kind of like. So they're. Oh, I actually never, I never thought about that. Yeah. What's What's the code for? Is it? I'll say it for the G Force. I'll say it. That's it. Yeah. I'll say. I'll say it. Screenshot. Alt F1. Right. Screenshot's been saved. Oh, I go. Okay. Never thought about that. Yeah. I started using that the other day. So I kind of like them. Um, Where does it save to, though? Uh, I can't remember. But it's... Uh, oh God, I, I, I did know this. I just can't remember now. Um, I think if you check your recents, you know, it should come up. Shouldn't it? No, maybe It'll not. be buried, I don't know. It'll be buried um, somewhere. I more. did this. Where did I? Because I got this the other day. Oh, it saves the videos, so it does go into videos. It's strange. Videos? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it saves your videos. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Um, that's good. Okay. I, yeah, it's it's handy. It's just it's a bit quicker, I think, for for. Yeah, it's much uh, better. Yeah, it's so much better. Well, so Alt and F1, like that's even better. Oh, so is that just take an instant shot? Does it? Alt and F1. That didn't work. Alt and F1. Alt F1. Uh, oh I yeah, it does. Do... Yeah, yeah, it did. Work for me. Happy okay. test. That's that's good to remember. What? Well, phone, yeah. Nah, that's not working. Maybe it is working. Hang on. No, it's working for me because it comes up in top right hot corner and says screenshots. No, it's working. So. Uh, but my my keyboard, you know the way you've got it's multifunctional. Uh huh. So I'm just wondering. Ah, uh, okay. I need to go Alt Function F1. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'll function that one, mate. That's annoying. <clears throat> um, okay. So, all right, so I'm going to jump in, and I was going to actually, you know what, I'll save this for one of my own sort of solo streams, if you like. Mm. Um, I was going to show, you know, a little bit about the plane, mm -hmm. but I think we'll just jump in and get it started because there's so much to go through. There is. Um, so, pedal covers, propeller covers coming off security comes coming off like it's even got red carpet you know what i mean yeah it's ridiculous um okay so let's let's go in and we will get our starter up here right so we've got the ground powers already on here we'll set our con engine well, condition uh, up and let's hope we do not encounter any errors here so battery on that a wee second, check it's voltage. Voltage is fine. Avionics on. Okay. 
fuel pumps to manual ignition to manual and then we'll flick the cover for the, the starter and let us pray now uh, we've got movement happy days woohoo <laughs> first part done <laughs> So for context for anyone watching that took us about an hour. <laughs> yeah. To figure that, that one out. Yep. Yeah, that didn't happen first time around. So. And no. And and also well no, it did happen first time around, but it didn't happen second time around. Mm, and then yes, also right, yeah. clearing clearing all the warnings was uh, a nightmare. Right. Which we think we've got done now. So next we've got Pito Heat. That's Pito. Right, so I, I Pito. Gotta, so Pito I gotta close my door. Um that would help. Uh we've got our ignition to why is the red carpet still there bring back to uh, and we've got our alternator uh, that needs to come on and we've got our generator that needs to come on and we've got oh our oh we've got our pizza that we need to check in the oven that's what that is <laughs> so um i'll check on these second. And then what have we got? Fuel pumps that need to come back to manual. Right, and we've cleared them all bar the takeoff configuration, which will set with the rudder trim, which is actually at three, so it seems to be uh, three point Three, it seems okay there. Let's see if we can maybe get that a bit tighter. Three point one seems better. All right. And then So I've got a stall heat inhibit. Stall heat Which, is No no, it's on point. but it's it's yeah, it's on but it's giving me a warning on it. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm good to go here and just check the pizza and make sure it's not burnt out. I'll fix that one later. It's nothing too. It's not really gonna harm me too much. So, all right. Bleeder. I don't need bleeder. I don't know if we need bleeder on or off. We're on for the minute. Twenty-seven degrees in the cabin. Jesus, that's uh, that's pretty hot on it. Vent fan. This fan. I'll take a bleeder off. I don't really know what that is. I'll have to look at look at that up. No passengers on board anyway. It's no big deal. Um, climate control. Bring it down and cool a little bit. Fan, everything is all set. Fan on, auto, air conditions on. Yeah. I think, um... I think, I think that's... <laughs> I think that's okay, but who knows? Who knows, right? So, let's go uh, flaps 10. Rudder trim set. Takeoff trim is set on the pitch. Let me, uh... Hang on a second. That's better. Um... Okay. So, whilst Big Boss is sorting out his pizzas, I don't know why the carpet's still there. Let's see what the carpet and the generator are showing. Uh, shocks off. GPU off. I'm going to cycle the red carpet. That might be a bug. Yeah, I think it's a bug. Um, I'm going to go lights. So, our panel lights coming on. Bacon, now, strobes, taxi, and landing. Um, all on. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, whilst that's doing that, um, I'll bring up our, uh, I'll bring up our, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Um, our flight plan. So we're here in Kernville in California. Um, we're basically going to go to, we're just going to, we're going to head out. I think that's runway heading. No, it's not. So we're going to do a left hand turn. Uh, once we, once we take off. And then we're going to head out to um, across basically the sort of the um, 
I guess, uh, sort of Southern California, I guess. And oops, no mistake. And uh, and then head out, head up to a place called Mariposa in uh, in Yosemite. So that is the plan, and we'll see what this little aircraft can do. So anyone wants to jump in, it's um, Lima zero five is our takeoff. So Lima zero five is the ICAO, and then our arrival is into. Uh, Kilo Mike Papa India. So that is that's the plan. Oh, right. Okay. So that... Right. Good to taxi. Uh yeah. Seem to be. So uh, let me just check my some brief actually because I forgot to, to do that. All right. I don't have mine over there actually. So this uh, it's very quickly on the tablet. So we'll just do a quick run through on it. So basically. Oh yeah. It is loaded in. Okay. Um. So you've got all your conditions and hours and etc. Um, and status of the each of the aircraft, uh, sort of you know tire pressure and um, brake pads and all your mechanical bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, we're saying a we're saying a flight plan page and and a, it's got your departure where you can do it, uh, a some brief um, import and navigraph import and it's got the departure information, uh, METAR, etc. Um, it even gives you the runway, um, your, your transition altitude, your elevation, your runway length, arrival information somewhere, and then more detailed weather, um, uh, depending on whatever ICAO or ICAO you're going to. So we go Kilo, Mike, Papa, India. Um, yep. And then you've got your full operational flight plan as well. Uh, Navigraph charts also. So. I've got my account that's connected, but I haven't actually brought up. Let's bring up the taxi chart just to see what it looks like. Um, no, not that one, that one. Oops. Ah, there we go. So you can see that. You can see all the charts. Uh, then you've got your ground ops. So we didn't really use this, but that's where you get your trucks and all that sort of stuff. Your fuel, uh, passengers. We're going to fly empty today. Cabin comforts. So you got cabin services as well. So serve coffee, serve snacks, organized pillows. Let's well, organize the pillows. Uh, Stow pillow. Um, passengers, you know, status, all that stuff, which is interesting. And then all your maintenance stuff, which is actually quite similar to the Comanche. Um, then you've got your realism settings. So all your failures, we've got everything turned off at the minute. And uh, just because, you know, we haven't learned the aircraft. FAQs and then, and then your settings as well. So there's plenty plenty in that efb to mess around with yeah unlike unlike another efb that was released maybe last week that we don't want to talk about um <laughs> it isn't worth mentioning yeah uh, but yeah pl plenty in that plenty in that so um all right so we're burning fuel so i'm gonna start taxing yep i'm and good I to think, go right, as well i think i'm um, good to take off so um let's taxi to the right all right um what i'll do is actually just get some music on the go Look at the. I've just noticed. Look at the. Uh, look at the interior trim, on on the dash. It's like white leather. Above your screens. Yeah. See that? No, it's like normally black. Yeah. It's like white or cream. Sorry. Very um, fancy. Right. So. Ooh, why are my brakes not working? Jesus. They are working, it's just a very... That's... that's um, get her moving. Ooh, this thing takes off quickly. It does, it's a quick mover. Yeah. What, watch, watch your brakes. Brakes are a bit... Uh, uh, they don't perform that well. Yeah. Here. So heading towards, uh, say, runway 35, and taking off from there. Have you got flight plan set up in the? No. No. Just no that's, a, that's a that's a good that's a good point. Oh, I might do that. Oh, park and brake on. I'll do that now because it's going to take too long. If I can remember how to do it. Um, Origin. Origin. Uh, 
Right, what have we got? So we've got ignition on, fuel pump left and right on, and stall heat inhibit, even though the stall heat was on. Beeps of warnings, that's good. That's a good start. So we go for takeoff. Uh, so it's 80, 85, 85 knots. Yep, I'm gonna pull up here now, so I'm getting a wee yeah. bit windy there. Up we go, up we go, go on. Lovely. And gear up. Oh, the other thing I shouldn't have mentioned actually, this thing comes with action cams. When you like to do the ear, the gear and you start the engine, it'll it'll cut. It's like a cutscene. Um, but uh, got that turned off in a minute. Okay, so we'll uh, flaps up. We're going to do a left hand turn. Alright, so now we've taken off, we can go um, fuel pumps to or ignition to off and fuel pumps to auto. Very sensitive the flight model. Mm-hmm. It is, isn't it? Hi, how are you going here? I'll probably go ten thousand to start with. Airspeed, 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 airspeed,
Uh, by 310 degrees, 308, something like that. <coughs> I'm gonna set that now. Alright, so I'm, I'm more on the right course now. So. Bring that power back a little bit. Um, right, so your damper. Altitude, so I said altitude, let's go. Uh, 10,000. Altitude arms. Heading synced. I'll put it on. Airspeed, 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 airspeed,
but you know, I've got my other, my other throttle stuck here, and I'm very tap at the... Yeah, you might, you might have to use that for the GA plans, maybe. There's a speed, there's an auto throttle, and that's the thing because there's a speed button there for. How do you set that? Let's see. There's a speed button there for, um, I can see. Or the set for G. Actually, physically put the, or sorry, physically pulled the throttle back on. And the seventh there seems to have done it. It's a shadow me as well, let's see. I'm a, I'm a 50% power here. Yes. So, let me see. So, how do we set speed? Stick on FLC mode and then uh, it should block in your airspeed. FLC mode, okay. On your uh, autopilot. Although mine hasn't, mine's not holding. Is it the level mode? Is it? That auto pedal yeah. mode button. Yeah, mine's not holding though. So, FLC 175, yeah. <laughs> What is it, Hank? Oh yeah, I think mine says holding a hundred seventy three now. So.
Okay, so... Let's see where we are now, actually. Um, we still do a bit to the right of me there. So we're about we're almost halfway there. Or maybe we are halfway there. So, just having a wee read about this, uh, so this is the M500, it's not right? Oh, I can't hear me. Um, <coughs> yeah, so, the M500, it's the uh, paper M500. Um, this all spawns out uh, from the original paper PA46 Malibu and Matrix, which is now known as the M class. Uh, they're a family of American light aircraft, manufactured by Paper Aircraft of Ferro Beach in Florida. Uh, the aircraft is powered by a single engine and has the capacity for one pilot and five passengers, which... I suppose that's the original one, so it's the PA-46. We're looking at the variants now, so the variant that we have then is the Paper M Class M500. Um, so it's an updated version of the former Malibu Meridian, which was the PA46 500 TP, uh, which came out in 1997. Uh, the M500 is an updated version of that. It also has an uh, updated Garmin G1000 flight system, which you can see here if you've been following our streams beforehand especially for flying on the TBMs you'll see that we're using the the Garmin screens as well and that's also like the M350s then on top of that uh, the G1000 NI, NXI system includes an automatic wing level function and control override to prevent exceeding the plane's flight envelope its purpose is to maintain a safe stable flight condition in case of pilot disorientation or incapacitation. Um, the safety feature is called electronic stability and protection which is ESP which if I recall in the settings here um, you can see the ESP is on then so let's say that's one of the features of it. There. Uh, the M500 also has an ADS-B, but no FATIC. M500's fuel tanks can carry 170 US gallons, so that's 644 litres. Okay. Um, I don't know if we'll need that many, but... Yeah, there's plenty there. So it's an interesting little plane, or plane, sorry. The, uh, the updated version, that's the M600, so the Gamazin would be getting that down the lane. As well, the M600 came out in 2015. Um, so I won't be surprised if that makes its way into the marketplace as well. What's, what's making its way into the marketplace? Well, I was saying about the M500 um, itself, and so it was a variant of the Malibu. Then, uh, so it was the Malibu Meridian, which came out in 1987, the M500's a variant of that. The Later version is the M600, which came out in 2015. Well, so I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up making its way. It uses a Garmin G3000. Um, what's so yeah, what's this one here? Is that, is that a 1000? Yeah, it's a Garmin 1000, yeah. And it came with that new safety feature, which was the ESP. Uh, I reckon there must have been a cat outside because all the dogs are going nuts. Mm -hmm. Hank's, Hank's sitting up in the bedroom looking out the window, barking. Yeah. 
He was out. He was out in the garden there as well. Should. Just our head in here slightly. So Mariposa, that's where we're going. What's interesting about Mariposa? Let's see, Mariposa, California. Looks like a oh wow. Jesus. Looks like a proper little mountain town. Does give so those fairs, doesn't it? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? So it lies in the foothill, rugged foothills of Sierra Nevada. Mariposa Creek goes through the town, etc. etc. Um, let's see. So obviously it was a uh, part of the gold rush, all that sort of stuff, which is you know the historical have these things. Um, Notable residents, I love this part. <laughs> so, John Fremont, the first US Senator from California. There you go. Uh, let's see, do we know anybody? Uh, I don't see. Let's see. Oh, well, I, I, actually, hang on. Jake, Jacoby Shaddix. Um, uh, Hammer Roach. Jacobi. Uh, Jacobi. No, Jacoby. 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 There you go. Jacoby. Jacoby. Um, Hammer Roach. Is from Papa Roach, yeah. Mariposa. Paul Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of them I don't know. They're American footballers and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. The population of Between two and three thousand dollars a day. Not too far now. We've one last stop here, essentially one last waypoint before we hit our, we hit our destination. Mm -hmm. So we're So, oh yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay where I am and actually I'll adjust heading slightly, I think. And I'll do it here. My, um, I'm losing a few frames here, I'm just saying. Ah, uh, do you know what, actually? I haven't really started, no way. It's probably been running for a good six, six, six hours or so. I might do that next. I think my heading's mostly good, just adjust it ever so slightly. Well, we are in California, and so what's just come on in the music You're going to play a bit, of, a bit of California, are you? It's California. It's actually just come on there, so it has. Uh, so this is Dalton Robinson cover of U2's California. Hey, the way for me. California Then we sail into the shiny sea The weight that drags your heart down Well that's what took me where I need to be Which is here out of summer Watching you cry like a baby California At the dawn you thought would never a couple of years ago we did um, a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of years ago. 
song for flying over California so must be close to London I still leave that left so I'll tell you. about more I can.
I don't know if that was um, the, the final mix. It sounded a bit, I don't know, rough, to be honest, as mixes go, but just, I've actually forgot how good that cover was. Thanks for <coughs> entering the chat there. How's it going? He says, How do you like the M500? Uh, yeah, this is my first flight in it. So, so far it's, it's interesting. So, before we come on stream, we, uh, two of us were just sort of trying to get this thing started up. And, and initially, it was, I'll turn my music on over here. Um, initially, it was absolutely the thing when we got it started up. And then, Started getting errors with the with the generator not working, um, but seem to have seem to have fixed that now. Um, but yeah, it's very it's definitely very late. So it is. It's uh, it feels later than the TBM 930. Yeah, so it definitely, does. Definitely. Feels feels a lot later. It's later. Than that. It's later than the F50 as well. Yeah. Oh, I will the F50 is heavier yeah. than the 930, but. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, mean, well, I feel it's, like the, I feel like the um, A50 flies. Like I, I think I prefer the flight model in the, in the A50. This this feels a bit uh, strong wind will blow it away. Yeah, almost arcadey. You know what I mean? As we touch arcadey. Mm. Oh, so far it's alright. Don't know. We'll we'll put it through paces. Too 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 early to tell. Yeah. Oh, just here to put it through its paces yep. soon. You know, a few bar rules and, and whatnot. We'll see. Uh, oh, it actually thanks very much for the follow the there, Paul, for the way. Appreciate it. It, it. it actually says there are no acrobatic maneuvers, including spins approved. See, <laughs> now, it, it says that, but you know, the reality yeah, is really approved. You know, yeah. we don't, we don't do it for operating by you know, flight rules. Right. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know, uh, so Paul says, cool, uh, I use the fly light GA, but I'm thinking this may be worth banning then, so, so to be honest with you, it's probably right up your street then, so it is, um, in that case, it was, for me, I got it for, it was about £21, I got it for, uh, a couple of extra pennies in the, in the store, so, yeah, it's, it's dead on, um, I think, I think the TBM850 is better all round, but that's, that's it's, it's, I, I get the same impression, you know. But well, this is still, well, this is still it's, nice. It's maybe, maybe if we start sticking the, the failures and stuff <coughs> all on, maybe we'll really get put through our our pieces with yeah. it. it. It's 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 hard. It's too hard to tell, right? Because like the, the I think the there's something about the 850 with the steam gauges and you know it's a little bit more manual and that sort of thing which is good but the flight model is definitely better um however in saying that like this this tablet we've got with all the integration the um the uh Air the speed. ground Air controls speed. or or ground crew controls etc the cabin controls all that sort of stuff like there's a lot more smarts Air and the feel like Air i haven't speed. even looked at the failures yet yeah. There's a lot more Airspeed. smarts involved Airspeed. in this, Airspeed. so Airspeed. I feel like Airspeed. after a couple Airspeed. of updates, this thing Airspeed. could be, they could Airspeed. probably far Airspeed. outweigh Airspeed. almost Airspeed. Airspeed. everything Airspeed. by the Comanche. Airspeed. Airspeed. Like, th this is, Airspeed. I reckon this Airspeed. is, it's not quite Comanche level, but it's certainly, um, it's certainly got the potential, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll give you a wee look here, Paul, the, the inside of the plane, um, actually, I'm going to check here, so make sure. Okay, I'm going to sign it at the sand. Yeah, I need to make a turn there yeah. actually, so I'll do the turn the first. Um, and we'll start at the sand too. And then 
Thank I'll give you a wee look at the inside of the plane here. So. Definitely gonna overshoot this one. Yes, yes. As soon as you touch the, the yoke, it's... Airspeed, 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 There's no real resistance in it. Airspeed, 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 really sensitive. Really sensitive. Airspeed, 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 Oh, yes, yeah, Check. Interesting little airport, this actually. The fan, I'd say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check gear. Check gear. Yeah, I think a wee bit of extra resistance from the yoke would, would go a long Check way. Gear. Um, yeah, I'd I say. I guess the, the stick, because I'm using the Check Airbus controller. Um, yeah, a co couple, couple of updates, like. Should be alright. Uh, by the way, Paul, myself, uh, Big Boss, and MDA, we're both running dual streams there as well. So Check if you pop here. into his stream as well, there, you give him a wee follow, and uh, you can also see the nice. view from his Check side here. as well. I, are you coming in the back of this report? Am I seeing this right, or are you? No, I'm. I'm gonna. Check I'm actually a very in. sharp approach for you. No, I'm gonna come in on runway 26. Check. So here. I'm gonna fly past. Aye, ah, so you're coming in the back of it then. Yeah. Yeah, because it's flatter. Check. I haven't looked at the winds or anything like. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm doing like a gear. downwind now. Yeah. Um, thanks for the follow, Paul. Cheers, mate. Appreciate Check it. Check gear. Yeah, it's good, man, Paul. Thank you. Um, so. Check. So we do gear. these dual streams or joint streams like every weekend, and then during the week we kind of kind of do our own thing. Check gear. So it's mainly GA flights at the weekend at the minute, and then I've been doing our liner flights during the week. Check gear. Uh, yeah, I see, actually, that's what he just said there, he's the other off. Yeah, <clears throat> weekends Check are our gear. thing normally, so we are, so we'll normally be on. Uh, where, where are you based? Because I'm, Check uh, gear. well, I'm based in, in Ireland, and MDA's in Australia. So, yeah, so we, <laughs> we have to do the manage the 10 difference going from the lab gear now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in behind you. You. Um, so we we normally go uh, Friday night UK time, or um, so. Uh, do you know what? Well, what's the time difference now? Is it, is it eleven hours? Uh, eleven. Eleven hours. 11 yeah. hours time difference. We we're used to doing this because we've been making music together for years, so we're used to sort of a, a compensating for the. The time difference, all we've done is just transfer by across the flight simulator. Do this. I'm very, very fast at this here. Yeah, I'm, 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 I am very, don't like very it. fast. Yes, it, it does take, I've noticed it takes a while to slow this thing down, but oh then the TBM takes a while to slow down. I'm fast. Not, not this. I'm far too hot. We've got to slow the gear. The gear takes forever to deploy. Oh, this is fine. First landing. <laughs> uh, that's 
that's that's gotta be that's right. I've never done this before. This is this is that was a sm it, it was a smooth album, right? It was very smooth. I got clapped, and um, LRM has given me a landing rate. What was your best one? What was your Two. best record? Oh, oh, well, I got that beat. What <laughs> <laughs> you had zero? He's, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Like genuinely zero. Look, look at that. How good is that? Brilliant. Half a G. There you go. Uh, you won that one. Speed six, um, sixty-seven knots. What? Go. What did? Uh, what the other one give you? Sixty-three. Brilliant. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just load out and load back in again. Not not the full same, I'll just go into the main menu back because um uh, I was getting some frame rate drops up there. Alright, so I have had zero ones before by the way. Um, okay, so let's do the fly back back. Yep. So now I will be doing so that was Bush Lake one of. Uh, oh, here the, the other thing too is um, it doesn't actually register the M five hundred on the bike. So you gotta go and adjust it manually. All oh, right, okay. Um, well, you didn't have LRM on like anyway, so it makes more sense. What was it on? Was it? No, it comes up as a. Oh, actually, oh no, it comes up as a fast fix. It comes up as a hyper mode in the end. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right, we'll look back at that. Where were we? KPMI? <clears throat> so... That was from Kern Folly to Marco. Or Marco's and Fred. Marco's and not Marco. Marco's and I. That was leg one, Fireflyers. Mopsy schedule eight. And we'll go for leg two. Chase of the front back. Generate the symbol. For some reason, my duty schedule didn't pick it up. Right. And it didn't give me the company route either. Mm. It gave me the achievement there. That's all. Right. Uh, so, That's Paul, uh, do you stream yourself then? Started streaming here. Dog. Um, 
Well, people stream for nice just for a month. Is it? Uh, well, not even. Yeah, it hasn't been long. Like. Yes, it's been about a month. So, it is, so <clears throat> we're still trying to get the hang of everything as well and how it, how it all sort of works. And but uh, one thing that I do notice that everybody kind of says in regards to the flight sim is the flight sim community is brilliant. On this. Mm. Stumble upon a random Frenchman that says nothing. I don't understand what you're saying, you know. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, didn't it's, even notice you were there. Didn't even notice. No. Um, but yeah, Flight Simple Community is pretty good. So it is. Um, you always end up seem to get hit by raids from, from others and you're, you're reading them and whatnot. But streams are long as well. You know, so, yeah, I'll let this dog in. Yeah, and no, everyone's everyone's very supportive. Um, and it, it's such a it's such a uh, niche kind of thing to do as well, I suppose. So you know, it's pretty um, it's pretty good that everyone does support each other. Generators on. Yeah. So sorry, it's so back. So that's awesome, uh, Paul says. That's awesome. Uh, if you've been playing Flight Sim for a while, you plan flights on for a way. What made you decide to get it into streaming? Uh, do you want to start with that one, Mark? actually um yeah well uh, so i've been flight simming since the first one i had was 1988 so i've done this for a little while um getting getting into streaming i uh, actually i'll well, probably maybe i flew uh, fsx for quite a while and then uh and then went off it for a little while and didn't really bother for a couple of years and then um and I got back into 2020 a few years ago, but to tell you the truth, like 2020 for me, I was running it on a, a mid-range sort of uh, gaming PC, and it just wasn't good enough. So I ended up having to, um, I ended up having to upgrade the PC and everything else. So, um, and I spent a good bit of money on the PC as well. So it was sort of, it sort of, um, when it, when I got back into flight it was like, right, well, you know, I'm gonna put a bit of time and effort into it because. I put a, I put a bit of you know money into the PC and stuff, so that was about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, and then like I was I was flying flying along, um, just by myself, listening to music, watching TV, whatever. Did that for about six months, and then it actually got to the stage where it was like, you know what, <clears throat> I'm getting a bit not bored, but I was fine. I was struggling with things to, to find to do. And uh, and I started watching. I think there was an aircraft that came out. It was one of the PMDGs that I got, and I was watching uh, the guy on YouTube, uh, John Beckett, and he he does all the tutorials and all the startups and whatever. So I started watching him, and um, and he mentioned something about a virtual airline, and I, I didn't really take much notice of it at the time, but a couple of couple of, a little bit a little bit later, a few weeks later. And uh, and I started looking at virtual airlines, and I came across a few. I thought, like, you know what, I might actually join one. So I thought, I'll wait till Christmas because I've got time off from work and everything else. Anyway, long story short, um, I started uh, started looking at. Um, I can't even remember how I came across Twitch, and uh, and I went on to Twitch, and Two Tone Murphy was on like before. He was literally live at the time, and um, and it was like the first one I clicked into. And that that was the introduction to. I was just like, this guy's Irish, you know. He's, he's going mad, shouting to people, people are having a laugh. There's all the things happening in the chat. Um, so that was on on Twitch. I started watching uh, Two Tone, and then from there, it was. Um, this one then we found out about Firefly Air, the virtual airline, and it just kind of just sort of grew legs from there. So that was that was the next step in the evolution. <laughs> And then, and then getting into streaming was basically that was an easy one. It was like, well, what happened was so good. So Big Boss then started started flying along as well, and the two of us were talking on Discord, um, the, the same way that we would have been video calling on Signal or WhatsApp or whatever. And uh, it sort of migrated to Discord, and then from from doing that when we're flying, so well, we might as well just do this, but only do it with other people too. And yeah. uh, and that was it. So it's just kind of it's just been a slowly evolving, you know. Yeah, uh, it's probably 
that's a good way to introduce him to how I was doing it then. So I I had played was it Flight Simulator X, was it? It was two thousand five. Ah, uh, FSX. Um yeah. I'd played that sparingly uh before. Didn't really know what it was doing on it, so just sort of set up flights and sort of do them. But then they released it for they released MS uh, FS twenty twenty for the Xbox and I had done a few things in that previously when that came out. It was mostly like jet flying and stuff and I don't know, it's just it, it didn't didn't really grasp for me. And then I found out MDA was doing he was playing it around was this it was only April, wasn't it? April this year. And yeah. I re downloaded it again for the Xbox and sort of fell in love with it. Uh, he was telling me about the community of Firefly Air and the Red OK. It's like the, you know, there's like achievements here, you know, there's a sort of purpose to this game as well. You know, you've got a schedule and stuff like that that you can you keep. You've got league tables, you know, so there's there's competitive element and I'm all about competition, so um, I thought that's that's fantastic. Um, my limitation was I was playing on Xbox and it was uh, Series S too, it wasn't even Series X. And so it really with all new updates that were coming out, I would really, really feel the strain of it on the console. Um, but then I just made the decision in, was it August, was it? I think it was August, might have been. To yeah, it was August, yeah. Yeah, cause it was just, whenever I, it was before I went home. Yeah, it was like, right, okay, if I'm, like, I'm taking this a bit more seriously now, I'm going, I need to splash out my, my PC here for this, and I did. Um, so, this is where we are now, and I'm, you know, starting to go down that peripheral rabbit hole of, you know, <laughs> just spending lots of money on flight sim stuff, um, which is fantastic because it's it's money well spent to be honest. And yeah, and then so as we were doing that, it was like right, okay, you know, we were operating on Discord. We would share our stre- our streams with each other through Discord, and we're like why don't we just you know go on to Twitch here as well. And, and do this we might as well it's the same it's the same thing practically as what we're doing we're you know we're we're doing four or five hour sessions here on discord we as well just put it online and so we started doing that as well and i started streaming a couple of the other games too and that's like quite very the one i play i've done a lot of ps5 stuff and all that i'm looking to do and i think i'll be doing a ps5 stream tomorrow actually from out gear so but yeah, that's, that's the way it is. And then we managed the, the time difference. We were like, right, we're going to run dual streams here. There's not a lot of people that we've seen that are actually running dual streams. In fact, I don't think I've seen anybody run dual streams, at least not for Flight Simulator. I think, I think we're the, yeah, um, on Flight Simulator, I think we're the first. You get, you you get them in like, you get them in like, um, people join and then on just right. chatting and things like that, but I think we're the first on Flight Simulator. You know, so it, it's kind of nice in some ways to sort of push that forward. Um, which has sort of opened that up via guest star now as well and we can kind of do that um, which is cool and that's, that's sort of where we're we're aiming is, is you know every weekend we'll we'll try and you know run these dual streams together and get get something going um paul had said there it, it made total sense it always felt like a streaming would make flight uh seven seem more of a community activity rather than something to do on my own yeah i kind of i kind of get that um it would would get a wee bit sort of monotonous after a while a bit boring just in on your own whereas as i say with uh, a sim community there's a there's a purpose there uh, there's a competitiveness to it if you if you choose to engage in that you know if you want to you want to progress in the, the league tables and whatnot you know. um, so i, I say yeah, I don't well, I'm, um, I'm fully invested keep keep keep, keep um keep, keep keep talking there but i'm gonna i'm gonna take off all oh, right um, okay talking here, um, yeah. <coughs> yeah so we'll We'll shoot on now. We're going to do the return leg here. Um, back to Kern Valley. So let's see. I've got the flap set. And we will part and break off. And away we go. Yeah, now um, I, I see you shifting across the runway there. Yeah, you see that? I had a similar issue when I was taking off there last time. Let's see if I can keep it. Like I've, oh, I've, I've already lifted my foot. I've already lifted my foot off the rudder. I had, I had to put a bit of rudder in just to keep it yeah. straight. It's I've already had to move it off it and it's near, super near, sensitive. Near, so it is. Did a BTA on me? Super <laughs> sensitive. So it, is. it is really sensitive. Yeah. It, do, it definitely doesn't feel as weighted as the TVM. Um, yeah. 
It sort of, it kind of, sort of pissed me off a little bit, to be honest. So, I don't like that, but if it was way the way they adjusted, that would be good. I think the way we would have to adjust it would be to adjust the sensitivity settings in the control options, potentially. Yeah, probably. probably. Maybe something like that. Um, right, so let's shift ahead. So just continue on uh, adding into what you were saying. My um, the way I look at it is like you, normally I'd be sitting here like watching TV, but I think, I think there's there's something to be said about sitting having a chat with you know like-minded people who are interested in or have common interests. Um, that uh, uh, you know sit talk about flights or whatever. Um, instead of just sitting watching TV and, and yeah. cruising, you know what I mean? Okay, just, it's just more interesting. Yeah, I think so. I think so, I agree. So, um, I just check here. Just oh, yeah, I'm actually uh, pointing yeah, yeah, right. That's awesome. I live in the US, oh, okay. Um, but I do most of my flying this time during the week in the morning here, so hopefully I'll be around you know, now and then for your students. That's brilliant. Well, good to, good to have you aboard. What part of the U.S. are you in now? And, and also, fast, um, you know, if you want to... Join, I know. Join if in if you wish, yeah. you know. Do um, you want to jump in? We're on the Southeast Asian server. Um, now, why is it we're on that server? Why does Firefly operate on that server? Or, because we think it's quieter than the rest of them. There you go. So I mean, I do, I, and I do, I do, I do, I do tend to, I do tend to agree. Airspeed, 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 It's actually not a very busy server, to be honest. Airspeed, 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 Better. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't shut this bloody ADC. Visual runway 8 in use. Landing and deploying runway 8 in use. VFR aircraft, three direction of flight. Hyper, uh, uh, pause this. I'm in, I'm in the Midwest. I think I'm on the East server, so East USA. Um, but I do most of my plan in the West from the US. Uh, so I look at the scenery, just now that in Las Vegas. Um, I'm actually, I'm flying the Piper. Arrow being mission to Neo Fly. Oh, yeah. So, have I got. Did I have Neo Fly? Oh, I did. I think I had. Was it Neo Fly? Uh, uh, yeah, no. New Sky. New Sky. I was on New Sky, but New Sky was all Air Niner stuff. Um, yeah, the Piper Arrow, that's a good. I think the, I think the Piper uh, Arrow 3 and 4. Uh, I think that was the first. A purchase that I did for um, for flights in 2020. It was uh, just flight and um, Piper Arrow that I got, and uh, I still I haven't flown in a while, but I always always really like it. Um, Las Vegas. So in the real world, I was there about two weeks ago and flew into um, McLaren or Harry Reid, I think it's called now. And uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, the the scenery in uh, Western US is amazing. Like it really is. It looks like the fact we are now. I did a flight earlier on in the 737 from uh, Lake Tahoe to Denver and back. And um, yeah, the Denver Denver scene is pretty amazing. Though. That's good. That's good. 
So it's funny, we were saying last week about we don't do enough flights in the US. I don't think I've done a flight out of the US since then. <laughs> <laughs> Because I did a couple of ad hoc missions as well, they were all US based too. I think I have to, I have to restart this thing. Oh, I'll probably, I'll probably make this a lot better. Right Matt, shut up, that's annoying. Bloody ATC here. Uh, go into your options and turn ATC voices off. In your sim options. And then also. Let's see, sound. I think it's under speech. is it assistance maybe? It's not ATZ, no, no, text to speech sounds okay. Um assistance. Did I do a new simply? Or did Um, no, I'll have a look here. Uh, let's go general options, and then I think it's under assistance options. Um, user experience, assistance options, user experience, and then ATC voices off. There is another. There is another one. Is it inside? That should hopefully do it. Check here. Cycle your. Um, Check here. Uh, actually, you know what? Turn the turn the radio off in the plane. I know. So I'm not going to see what they do. See your calm. See your calm switches. Check gear. Oh, there's a slider for voices. There you go. Uh, Paul just said there's a slider for voices. Check gear. So you go into general options, go to sound, and turn voices off. Alright, so there is. Yep. That's on Paul. Um, where do you usually fly? Uh, uh everywhere. Everywhere and anywhere. Oh, okay. Thanks, Paul. All right. Uh, yeah, every, every, we fly everywhere and anywhere. Check so the here. virtual airline um, has a number of hubs. Um, there's one and there's two in the U.S. Kern Valley and Lake Tahoe out in the west, and then there's um, one in I think Ecuador, Brazil, uh, in South America, uh, Dublin, Bristol, Zurich, um, in Europe. And then, uh, where else? Uh, Japan, there's one in Japan, one in Australia, Sydney. And I feel like there's one more. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's it. Might, there may be one more, I'm not sure. So what, what that does is when they release the monthly schedules and different achievements and stuff, it means that you're, you're literally flying all over the world. Like the last monthly schedule we did, where was that from, was that? Um, the last one was Dublin, was that Dublin? Um, but the one Dublin? before that, was it's Japan. Japan. Yeah. Um, what bit of Japan was it? Uh, so it wasn't Tokyo, it was... Uh, Nagoya. Nagoya. Was it Nagoya? Nagoya, no. yeah. I don't think it was Nagoya. Yeah, Chubu, Nagoya. Chu oh, Chubu, yeah, right, sorry, Chubu. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Chubu, Nagoya. And then before that was Bristol. Before that was yep. Zurich. Which and Australia. Uh, Zurich one was my favorite, I think. Um, yeah, because the, the Zurich one took you all around the Mediterranean, that around Eastern Europe and things like that. And then um, Bristol, well, there was a lot of like down into France, Germany, around the UK, uh, and Ireland. And then um, what was the the there was one uh, uh, Australia? You went across to New Zealand and around Australia, obviously. Um, I actually thought that the Australian one wasn't that great. I thought that the the New Zealand component of it was very good. Right. Um. And uh, and then yeah, the 
the what was the other one? Um, the Japan one wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Yeah, Japan one was alright. Um, now I've never actually managed to fi finish a schedule. Um, I came really, really close to the Zurich one, um, but missed out on the long haul flights. I, I don't know. I just I don't do the long haul flights, so I do the mid ones. But. Yeah, you got you got it. You got to let you got to let it run. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I uh, don't know. Maybe maybe I'll get this one done. You know, maybe this this will be the one. Um, how, how long is the long haul? I don't think it's that long. Yeah, not that long. Maybe four and a half, five hours. Bring up the... Not like the Australian ones. They were like 10, 10, 11, 12 hours. Mm. Bristol was like 12 hours too, because we fly down to South Africa or somewhere. I know that was Zurich. Yeah. Yeah, so we sort of fly everywhere. Um, which which is good. And the... And, uh, there was oh, there was uh, monthly schedules uh, or weekly schedules before they became monthly schedules out of um, Ecuador and uh, Quito and um, and Rio in, in Brazil and um, like they were really good you know so they t typically I wouldn't bother flying in South America yeah uh, to be honest and, and it sort of it, it makes it not it doesn't force you to fly but you know it, it, it puts you in places you might not normally be, and it puts you in the planes you might not normally fly as well. Yeah. Well, let's see. We've got open. Where is. So. Yeah, so. We have done push leg one. Uh, normally that'll come up where we take the set up there, but I forgot to turn on the LRM. Um, so, but we'll get a couple of these push ones done today, and maybe short haul ones done tonight. Do you on later again? Yeah, yeah, we're back on the so, morning, yeah. Um, <coughs> so, see, uh, I don't know if I missed that comment there. Um, Paul says I spent like the last three years working on or off and on and around the world with very small planes. So huh? okay, most of my flights were probably about an hour, I'd say. And it was a good way to see everything. I probably did you know, one day before it comes out. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking about 2024? What's your what's your thoughts on it there, Paul? Um, are you excited? Is it a cash grab? Are they gonna be making it more arcade? -y? Um, the trend cater for Xbox audience. What do you what do you think? What's your views on that? Is it a detriment to the simmer, or do you think the two of them will will actually be able to check out both both communities, the, the casual and the the slightly more hardcore, the more simmer based community, or both be satisfied by 2024? Um, they've been saying it on it here for a bit, haven't they? I don't think they've released any. Anything new? Not, since? Not, not since um no not since Expo. We haven't really, they've, they've mentioned it in the developer updates, but they haven't really uh, they haven't really talked about it. Yeah. So let's see. Tech, so the, Tech Radar have actually just done a, an article on it there for a couple days ago. Um, let's see. I'll, uh, Um, so saying Microsoft Flight Center is gearing up for 2024 release. Um, the, the players will be able to test out various plans and a realistic gauge and similar experience. Uh, uh, um, set the race sometime next year, no specific date as of yet. Only one trailer under our belts, there's still a lot to uncover. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But what have we actually got? I'm interested to see what this career mode is going to be like. Um, Pilot lifestyles. You know, I mean, I don't know, as Paul said, I haven't seen much, but I'm excited. It looks a lot like they're going to build on everything that we currently have. I'm excited about the career mm -hmm. mode, even if I don't know how much I'll use it. And yeah, graphic improvements seem really nice. I know I'll probably buy it right away. At the end of the day, I think uh, pretty much every one of us is going to end up buying it 
Um, oh, absolutely. straight away anyway. Um, uh, for, for me, it's like, I, I think it's, it can only be a good thing because, like, I, I don't care about the graphic up, uplift, I don't care about the uh, career mode and all that stuff. I think what they need to do is they got to fix everything that's currently, you know, bugged in um, in 2020. And I'm going to say bugged, I mean, like, the they need to they need to sort out the memory leakage they need to sort out the multiplayer they need to sort out the atc they need to sort out you know the performance um textures building in all that stuff all that you know the draw distance etc yeah like i know i know i know it's hardware dependent but i'm running i'm running significant hardware and i still have problems and um and it's uh like i think if they focus on that and they get that part right then they'll have my money you know what i mean like, they're gonna have my money anyway but um, but I, you know, I would. But they can have more I, I, money. They can have my money. Well, for that's it. it. You know, they can that, have the money with a spell. Yeah. You know, if they get a red. Like, yeah, they'll have to, you know, and, and a compliment. And um, like, uh, I, I just, I just think that they need to stay away from all this. We're gonna add this. We're gonna add that. Like, the, the sale should be. It's an upgraded engine, and as you say, Paul, it's gonna, it's gonna expand or it's gonna do more. Or build on what we've currently got. That's perfect. It's evolution. You know what I mean. That's that's what you want to hear. I I think something that the, they will probably overlook that they shouldn't is to have the the game come with uh, pre-built, ready-made profiles for different controllers. Um, you know, so that it should already have, like for example, I'm using the the Airbus throttle project. You know that they should, they should expect this. You know from the likes of Thrustmaster have different components go well, okay let, let's have a ready made profile in there that are, are going to be tinkered to our main planes on this um, something like that but that's, that's good. Help. It's a good call actually yeah it's good, it's good. It's especially good considering good. the good. amount of bloody issues that I have using this yeah. the service quadrant um, yeah let's see it's, it's, a, it's a really good point I think it's in a similar key yeah. Getting better before me having to continue to upgrade my hardware. Yeah. Well, Mick, you're running a 4090 in there. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's a 12. It's not. It's, it's a 99. It's a 99 1200. It's a 12900K. Um, it's a 4090. Really I've got 60, 60, 64, 64 gig of RAM at 5200 megahertz. Um, you know, everything's on NVMe fourth generation. Um, it's a 690. Um, I think it's a or Aurorus uh, gigabyte motherboard. So like you can you can do a little bit better. You can get a thirteen or a four, actually a fourteen fourteen seven hundred just come out there. Um, so you, you can get an extra ten percent on the performance I've currently got basically, and um, and a slightly better motherboard. But that's about it. So like I, you sh I shouldn't be having. Like, I still get. You know, I'm look if I flick this around here at the moment, right? Now, I know we're streaming. And we've got multiple cameras going, and we've got multiple equipment going, whatever. Um, so there's a lot of resources being used at the minute. But I got that's if I just go in my frame right here for a second, right? I'll give you an idea. Now I haven't I haven't restarted the sim in about eight hours, and that's probably that's mainly why. Was okay. Um, but the the frame rates, oh, it hasn't loaded up for me for some reason. But my frame rates are probably in around about forty five at the minute. Right, when they should be double that, so um, you know that, and that's just by from playing the sim. It's something that they were supposed to fix in the sim update thirteen. Yeah. Um, so I think I think it's it's that optimization. Like if they get the optimization, and they focus more on that rather than adding adding the new features, um, it's going to help. And um, you know, there's there's some third party developers that are slowly starting to recognize. Like a good, good example is any builds. Any builds come out the other day. With optimization on um, JFK for mid or low end machines, and I think that's the right the right way of doing it. Like the, everyone, the, the you know people can't afford to, especially at the moment, the current current cost of living um, across the world, uh, people can't afford to go out and spend money on on um, PC parts and upgrade them all the time. So you're going to have to start um, and uh, I'll add, add add something to your suggestion big boss the in terms of the profiles like they're, they're gonna have to bring back that um 
the a potential you know three tiered options for low mid and mm. high end gaming and sort of set it up that way because um i think that there, there's a lot to be done in terms of their their optimization yeah and i think as well with that there's always a danger that because at the same time they'll still be targeting the weakest of the two next gen xboxes as well in this mm. right which is the series s now i don't know what the comparison is for a series s graphics card to roughly around pc range but i know it's not at a 4070 level um which is where i am at yeah. 4070 um is it even a 3080 i don't know i don't know if the series s could even uh, would be comparable to a 3080 so uh, you're always going to be kind of limited as well i suppose when you have console uh stuff when you're targeting the weaker of the console stuff um especially because on the consoles they don't have an option to actually reduce resolution one of the notice from uh from playing it uh remember when i, when I showed you graphical settings there isn't an option to actually reduce resolution mm -hmm. on, yeah, it's on consoles really restricted way, yeah you know so you are very very much restricted um, that regard. Uh, Paul's saying there, I think 2020 is a big step forward from how many external apps I had when I ran Axpin. Um, I've never actually used that for now, so I'm uh, interested in that. Uh, but I still use a lot of other stuff like uh, Free Pilot, uh, SimBrief, and a lot of other stuff could be integrated. Yeah, I mean, now we are seeing more SimBrief integration here. This plane has it as well. Um, ATR has it, the uh, Phoenix Fly by Wire. Uh, A320s, they have it. Um, the TVM doesn't help, does it? Uh, does it? Uh, we're starting to see Navigraph uh, come up in a lot of other apps as well. So I think the, the future is definitely going to be integration in pretty much all of these planes. I reckon even planes that shouldn't mm -hmm. have it. I think they're going to start seeing them with options of you know, having them if you want them on, um, which is great, as I say, because you know, it's one man, one less screen. To, to have open <laughs> so this you know having to have Navigraph for uh simply open somewhere else but uh with Sanders Paul says I wonder if that is their focus but we also know that if they don't throw any shiny toys like career mode and some new planes in there that people won't buy it or support development I imagine the new features are much easier to engineer than these software fixes and I agree um, I think the new game will be littered with bugs as well it will just be absolutely littered with bugs what i hope is the if the graphical fidelity takes a bit of a knock that the frame rate doesn't as i say there are some airports that are really really problematic jfk is the worst yeah. one i've seen so far uh he throws not great yeah, he throws uh, bad yep dublin dublin is now D dublin hasn't been too bad for me <coughs> um but at the same time it's not great and that's that's uh MK Studios, isn't it? MK. MK Studios, yeah. MK Studios uh, Dublin V2, which looks spectacular, yeah. by the way. But, uh, yeah, it's like there's performances. What was that one where we had? Do you remember where we had it on stream? If you can remember. And yeah. It was Lon and did. Now, we've got, I think there might actually be a clip of it, Paul. You might be able to see it on, uh, yeah. on Twitch. Turn, 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 uh, it was a slideshow. It's definitely on uh, TikTok. I don't know if you do TikTok, but on TikTok as well. But, there's definitely a, a clip of it the manual C is we're coming into London. It's like uh, if you're familiar with the phrase rubber bomb, which is would be very apt in games like Call of Duty and stuff, it's like when you run forward but you basically get yanked back. Yeah, that's essentially the way the plane was coming into land. It would it would move forward and then just get like pulled back and move forward, pull back and like that. And that was a nightmare to land. So it was passenger screamed and everything. Um No it wasn't Dublin. I think uh, no, no, it was, it was, it was. Was it somewhere in Japan? It, it, no, no, it, it was. I can't remember where it was because it was part of. It was one of the like achievements or schedules we were doing. Bristol, yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of Bristol, was it? It wasn't in Bristol though, but it was part of the. It was part of the schedule. Uh, I think it was part of the Dublin schedule. I'm pretty sure. In fact, it would have had to have been part of the Dublin schedule because that was the last monthly schedule we did. Um, but it was it was just incredible. Um, I've never experienced anything like it. And 
That was not <laughs> big airport. I've never seen anything song. like it. No, it was it was airport. it was just a normal. Yeah, it was what? just a. It, was, it wasn't even custom scenery. It was yeah. Normal uh, default scenery. Default scenery. And so. it was just yeah, it was so random. But but again, it, 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 there's there's definitely issues. The like, multiplayer causes me a lot of performance issues. Um, yeah. You know, du Dublin for me. I don't know what it is about Dublin for me, but I've I've had constant problems in Dublin. And uh, on both on version one and version two, and even on default, and even on default. So I don't know what's going on there. It was S um, S B. Is that Brazil? S B S P. Brazil. Is that Sao Paulo? Is it? Well, S, S is definitely South America. Yeah. S B S P. Airport. I think that might be. It's Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Paulo. Um, yeah, so I was just looking at the clip there. So it was. Um, what were we doing? Uh, what were we doing there? What was that we were doing? What were we doing in Sao Paulo? I had to have been some sort of other achievement. Maybe. It must have been some other achievement. Oh, um, Paul just sent him. Bought the early release at 175 and found some wild bug with my Boss of Prince drop from about 60 to 4 when I turned on the aim of the WoW. I think switching it from direct uh, direct X twelve to eleven solved um, solved that, but feels like something you need to look at. Yeah, the I've seen that. You know what? Um, a lot of people are switching back from direct X twelve to eleven. I haven't really? tried it yet, but I'm, yeah, is twelve still, still up in beta? Is it? No, it's officially out of beta. Um, but uh, but. It's still like nothing's been fixed. Um, so I'm running 12 at the minute, and the thing about 12 is you lose your frame generation, right? Um, and the upscale if you if you go to go to 11. But I'm running to 4090, so I, I should be run. I should be okay at 11. You know what I mean? Um, you know what? Actually, I'm just having to get my graphics card. If I'm getting issues with. Said never had problems. All the dom of the one seven five. Okay, that's interesting. Now, it seems that no matter you know what setting I have graphics on, that any time I'm bringing the Phoenix in for a lot of them, they're stuttering. And this this seems to be a problem with the Phoenix itself. And so yeah. when you read the forums about that, it's like everybody complains about the same thing. Uh, the the um, Phoenix is a really heavy machine. But that's why. they said that they, they think that's to do with the cockpit textures. On this. It's the it's the refresh. It's the glass cockpit refresh. Yeah. That's the floor in the Phoenix and Red Team. The back end. Oh, the bathroom of baby. <laughs> well, we'll do we'll do that. We'll do a couple of short holes in the Phoenix. I think. I noticed as well that the uh, it spawned the cat in the pilot seat, but not the guy, no, but not the dog. Not the strength. Uh, my dog, my dog, Missy. Yeah, the, the E175, well, I haven't, uh, I was actually going to, I've been holding off on that one, I wouldn't mind um, getting it, and I know it's getting better, and I know that, I know it was like a really, it was early access, and it was pretty, it was pretty um, basic when it first came out, um, like, I, I do I do feel like we're all a little bit spoiled with, you know, really high fidelity uh, aircraft in terms of Phoenix and PMDG, and even even the even the headwind A330s starting to starting to and the and the fly by wire A320 are really starting to pick up as well. Um, but uh, there was yeah I think um, there was something else you mentioned about the features. What was that you said? Bought it just for early access price. Haven't really done much with it, but I love the I love the airplane. I don't mind. Wait for it to get better. Yeah, I I think um 
Yeah, I've been watching that one every. I'll sort of keep coming back to it every couple of months, uh, just to see where it's at. Because um, I am definitely interested in it, and I'm interested in the TFD I design MD11. I think that's coming out soon as well. Um, just for something different. Just missed that comment there. Uh, yes, Paul, a cat. Um, so I have this add-on from uh, Got Friends, Just Friends. Got friends, yeah. Got just friends. friends? No, Just Friends is a film with Ryan Mel. Got, 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 got Friends. Got Friends. Do you know what I keep mixing up? I keep mixing up Just Flight and Got Friends uh, because Just Flight uh, do the TV Amy at fifty. Um, and it, but so yeah, there was a. Uh, I think it's still free, isn't it? The the add-on from God Friends, yeah. and it, you get essentially put uh, pets and other avatars in the, in the cockpit. There, um, I had the cat. I had I actually had uh, sort of a show myself, and then show a collie in the in the, uh, the officer seat, but it. Not down there for some reason. Let's go out and check and see what it is. Yeah, mine stopped working. Yeah, it's it's not working. It's supposed to. You can see here. It's supposed to put the collie up there, and it is not. Oh, well, cat it is. Eh? Check here. So, I well. <laughs> find it, find it, and download them now. Yeah, it's very uh, good. The, um, just, just watch yeah, for any good. potential uh, conflicts with it. Um, you know, what what I found was, although actually no, it wasn't my fault. It, just uh, got friends. It was uh, another add-on I had I downloaded from Flight Sim. That too. It's where you could actually, when you were inside cockpit view, you could see the dog. And what ended up happening oh, yeah. was that it worked brilliant initially, and then there was an update for the TBM, and it was showing the outline of your uh, pilot's avatar, which was then obscuring some of your your screen in the cockpit. For reasons, but the Got friends out on doesn't doesn't do that. Separate thing was done. Let's see what's going to increase the altitude here soon. Yeah, I might as well just stay here. We've got a we'll be a right hand turn down to um Roma if you could. Um just as a word of note there as well. Uh, Paul, so any music that you hear on the screen is ours, unless it's a couple of uh, covers that are done by us, but it would all be ourselves. We are uh, a bunch of musicians as well, and run under the name of Dalton Robinson. Uh, find us on Spotify. Now, most of the music that you'll hear on stream will not be on Spotify because we'll get hit with our own copyright from Spotify <laughs> if we do play that, which is a pain in the arse, and we don't know how to navigate around that. So, what you may find is you'll hear unreleased songs that we have, or you'll hear different versions of songs that have been released in order to navigate copyright issues. Um, so yeah, there you go. Currently on my stream, there's a song we're living to is called Live, Survey, Die. I haven't even, uh, <laughs> I haven't even played music in that game at all. Yeah, I, I, I just got a big old that's going back. Yeah, that's what I normally do. Um, I'll take on. Oh, he teaches music as a day job. Oh ho! Think, think of thinking of me. It's just come on now. Um, how can I find you on Spotify? Um, oh, sorry, Dalton if I got Robinson the music too late. Hang on, I have to turn it down. Yeah, everybody uh, says that about really me. Quick, uh, I can never tell. Uh, having a little trouble here. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Dalton Robinson on Spotify. I, you know what? Let me um, let me create something in a bot. Hang on a second. That's what I'll do. I'll stick a link in. Uh, yeah, so he teaches. Paul, you teach music. Um, that's brilliant. Uh, as in, like, a school teacher or uh, different? What? 
because we were down. Maybe my Meg too. Um, yeah, I, th I also think it's partly me. I, I think sometimes I don't talk or speak that loudly. Um, maybe I need to go full streamer and just go over check, the top. You know what I mean, man? So check your um, <laughs> check check your sim, check your sim volume too. Um, sim volume. Well, I'll tell you what, show me your sim volume. I'll, I'll match yours. Yeah. Oh, mine's set to 15 on, but no, not not in the game. Mine's oh. set to 15 on Windows Mixer. Windows Mixer. Okay. Don't like messing around with Windows Mixer. Oh. Check gear. Yeah, so it's school time. band. Cool. Every time I come out of the start menu, it does something to my throttle. Oh yeah. Keeps telling me to check gear. Oh, I've got a fuel warning here. Hang on. What am I looking for? The bot one from bot. So, uh, let's see, you, you teach in a school band, right? Okay. Very interesting. Uh, well, what music do we play? What do we not play? Um, no. We, we really do all sorts. Uh, that's everything from what would maybe described as like indie, pop, rock, alternative, with a mixture of 80s synth. Um... <laughs> And yet we also do orchestral music too, so... Uh, that didn't work. Uh, you've um, popped out your chat there. Uh, Paul, if you go into my, if you come into my chat um, and put in exclamation point music, um, it'll, it'll bring up the Spotify link. Or if you can, you might, you might, I've just done it and it's worked, so you might, you might see it in my chat and the link, the link is there. That sounds like my job, actually. There you go. Um, my yeah, sim's so getting really choppy here. There's a. Uh, I listen to a lot of handy electronic music. Um, yeah, we we do a mixture of that, so we do. Um, I'm going to need to adjust my head in here, so I wasn't going to get into that mode. Uh, I've, I've flown um, past the airport again. <clears throat> Right here is amazing. Um, <clears throat> uh, it worked, that worked for him, so it did. Uh, yeah, so in the pop rock with synth elements and stuff in there, um, but we also have orchestral stuff now. But we don't have any other of the orchestral stuff up on Spotify yet. Um, do you know that was actually something I wanted to talk with you about? Um, oh was, yeah. Was are we I should we maybe just start releasing just you know all orchestral stuff under Dalton Robinson as well or? Um, yeah, I think we should do. Um, we could probably do an album, or at least a, at least an EP. Yeah. Because um, um, there's enough there. Like you know, there's what like probably... I, I was I was just going through you know some of the stuff. From my side, um, so just give you all a Spotify follow and check out when you get a chance. Uh, thanks very much, Paul. Appreciate that. Um, we we'll have you, to man. run here if you're looking forward to having back on one of these days. Absolutely. And as I say, if you are on and you're looking to fly with us and we're on, then jump in and fly along with us. Um, always be South East, uh, South, you can speak, South East Asian server. And yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, thanks very much for. Um, yeah, thanks for coming in. And, uh, and for following us as well. 
and say we'll, uh, well, we'll keep you updated in terms of music ways what we're, what we're going to do here so we're sort of just trying to work it all out we've been enjoying Flight Sim too much here and we've sort of taken a break on <laughs> on music so I have so um, I'll uh, try and work out a balance between the two so well yes thanks very much Paul pleasure having you nice Paul have a, have a good day right so um too far here from the, the runway. I'm uh, I'm on the downwind. I'm about to go into the, the base leg here. Mm. There's just pitches all over this. Oh, I gotta sort this out. Yeah, I, I don't like these flight controls at all. They're um they're terrible. Really, really bad. Yeah. It's uh, it is a wee bit arcadey, but just Aye. too too sensitive, I think. Yep, very <sighs> sensitive. Bit too sensitive. I mean, it, it could it could be just as you say the, the controls, um, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's very yeah, very sensitive. Your patch that hasn't loaded in there. My goodness, <laughs> let us do that. Wow. You seeing that? Yep. It's terrible. Is it? Shocking. Yeah. Wow. You want to see, like, you know, for as much as we, <laughs> we do slate this game, if it's, uh, it's texture issues. Take a Spider Man game, their planet, and our ran these. So you can change different costumes in it, and he changes the costume, and it doesn't render his costume in, and instead it renders him as a small cube. A small cube, maybe about, you know, right. a twelfth, a fifteenth the size of, his, of what the body should be, maybe. Maybe a tenth, maybe say a tenth right. of what the body should be. And but you can just operate them as normal, so you swing around and fight as this small cube. You know? And uh, I I took a clip of it and put it up on YouTube and uh, yeah, it's that's just funny, like it's so I'm going like that's a I, that's a triple A game there, it, it's a multi million pound uh, game and it's like yeah. it's it's actually but, I found so many glitches in that game to have. But you have you have a good point about flight sim. Like it's it's a you know it's a one to one scale of the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we we're like, ah, oh, bloody that tile hasn't loaded in. <laughs> it's like, right, that one tile. Yeah, you know, you know, like it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, now we we are pretty critical, but that's that's just the way it goes. It, it's only it's critical. It's it's constructive criticism. It is constructive. So, landing rate, as in flow, just give me 53 feet per minute, which is less than what I had earlier. Right. And an LRM give me 30. So it just it's it is a bit random sometimes. Yeah. Airspeed. Hello, I tell you what, I can definitely Airspeed. set this thing down Airspeed. a lot easier Airspeed. and a lot better. Airspeed. Um, Airspeed. Airspeed. Airspeed, 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 airspeed,
check. Have you had a look at the uh, the Boeing seven one seven? Check gear. Um, that was released by Captain Sim. No, but is that? I think I've heard about this. Gear. It's awful. Uh, not only is it awful, I and the reason why I committed my, check like gear. the reason why I committed my head there is there's one set, there's one park at uh, Karen Valley here. Um, <laughs> Some people. The, check the, gear. The it's it's. It's based on Airbus systems. Check gear. Right. <laughs> it's a Boeing. It's a Boeing seven one seven, and they've yeah. they've Check literally gear. like based. They put Airbus systems in it. They put the, the, the default three twenty systems in it. Check gear. Yeah. Like explain that one to me. Wow. Like it's just those guys. They should not be allowed. Check to gear. be producing anything. Like it's absolute. It's a complete and utter disgrace. Yeah, there's. I don't know. They get away with it. Oh, it's just, it's unbelievable. Absolutely on the on the air. <coughs> Check gear. There we go. Pack up the current valley. Check Shut this gear. Bad boy down. Let's see. So. Uh, right. Check gear. Bloody thing! Keep telling me to check my gear. I don't need to check my gear, love. Check I know gear. my gears there. I know where it is. I don't need to put it down yet. Check gear. Here. Another environment as well. Check here. Check here. And shut down. Check here. Nah, I know. I've, 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 my sim desperately needs to start, but I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to bed anyway. So. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, it's just, it's, it's actually okay, it's just, it's just not as Check smooth as what it should be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't actually get any stutters, so I've had frame rate drops, so. Check yeah. Uh, that's all. Oh. Right, let's see, ground ups, so let's get a bit of, Check get a bit gear. of stuff more here, so we want security and shocks, and stuff. Uh, Check gear. Right. That's all. We want to go GPU. Connect. real time. Yeah, I'm still not seeing this runway. Oh, there's dark. There we are, so that was the first, that was my first kind of trip. Well, both of our first oh, trip in the... Yeah. Okay. On, on uh, LRM? No. Um, let's have a read up LRM. LRM got 143? What? Yeah, it's just so it's smart enough. It's so, it, it, you don't know what to expect. I was expecting to be down at like 10 or something or so. It felt really, really smooth too. It looked like you know, yeah. it looked good. But... It's, just, it's just mad. Um, yeah, so saying there, that's so there we go. First flight done, or first couple of flights done of, I'm sure, many in the uh, M500. Oh, I'd say we'll end up doing, I, I, I'll, probably, I'll probably use it for another couple of um, bush, bush legs. Yeah. But, uh, 
Yeah, at the moment, I'm, I'm preferring the P850 at the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm but gonna reinstall to the P850 again. again, so I am, and uh, I'm reinstall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, to be fair, um, you know this thing. I haven't, I haven't really checked it out, right? So we've gotta. I wanna. I wanna get it all stream for a couple of days and during the week and stuff, and you know get get into it. You know, go through it in detail, see what it can do, what it can't do. I might even have a look at my sensitivity settings and all bits and pieces just to give it a bit of a a chance because I do I do feel like it's got like I, I love I love this tablet. You know, yeah. it's um I think there's a lot of potential here, and uh, and you know what? I actually need to re-familiarize myself with the Garmin uh, 1000 as well. I haven't really used that in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, some of those systems, so. Now there's there's plenty to plenty to get stuck into, I think, and like the, the detail and the textures inside are amazing. I can't even yeah. That probably yet. Yeah, like, it's not all beautiful. To be honest. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this? You know you can pull the window shades down. Uh, <laughs> How good is that? Brilliant. There you go. There's um, there's also uh, like pop out trade tables now, like right. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm saying. Like it, it, I feel like it deserves um a good thorough, you know, come back in it, come back in a week or two. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, there's so much here. You know? Yeah, I get that. Um, let's have a good look at the ground. So. Let's check this red carpet. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Look at that. Yeah, I know. That's oh, really funny. Um, no, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So it is. Yeah, not really proper explorer. Well, it's got USB 3, that's always a good start. So, you know. Is there a USB C? Uh, not there, there isn't. Let's see if it's here. No, I'm not, not seeing any. So, uh, we have we have landed. We've done our return trip from Kern Valley as part of Firefly Airs. Uh, new monthly schedule from Lake Tahoe and Kern Valley, California. Um, yeah, that was uh, was interesting trying out that new plane there, the M five hundred, the Paper M five hundred, arcadey little plane. Um, but we may fly that at another time. I think later we'll try the TBM at fifty again. Oh, I was go. thinking maybe later we we'll do the one of the sh- a couple of short hauls and maybe take the Phoenix out. Oh yeah, well yeah, I'm always for that now. We we'll haven't, we'll haven't done a yeah, we we'll haven't done a stream. We've been doing a lot of GA stuff, so we we'll haven't done a, an airliner one in a while. Yeah, well maybe we'll do um, that. We'll take the uh, we'll take a beloved Phoenix back out again. Um, hey Jack Phoenix, yeah. there's been any recent updates to it? No, the, the, there was there was one due. There was a significant update due. That block two update was due um, last week, but the, there was an announcement on the Discord saying they were pushing it back. Okay. Um, it wasn't ready, so it'll probably be the end of this one. But um, but yeah, so between so we'll do, do the GA plans for the bush legs, and then we'll do the airliners for the short the short hauls. 
Yeah. Um, or our liners are business jets, and then and then medium and long hauls will just you can sort them out yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that sounds uh, sounds good. Um, right. Well, I think that will that will do us for now. Um, to be on again later for an hour stream. And uh, thanks to Paul for, for jumping in, give us a follow, and uh, engaging with us throughout, and for checking out the music as well. Um, all right, folks. So that will do me for now, and, uh, and we'll see you all later. We'll see you in a few hours. I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, but yep, thanks for jumping in, and uh, that was another, another good couple of fights. So um, looking forward to looking forward to the next one. So uh, take care. Have a good uh, have a good day and weekend, and uh, we'll be back in a few hours time.